Have you ever had period pain that is so bad that you literally can't concentrate on life or work or even be productive to yourself? In this video, I'm going to show you natural ways that you can cure period pain because a pain-free period is absolutely possible. Hi, I'm Torera and I share DIY and lifestyle videos on this channel. I've struggled with period pain. I remember my most vivid memory was when I was in secondary school and I almost missed my exams because I had to literally drown myself in pain meds. I also remember taking pain meds a week before my period starts just so that the pain could be a bit more bearable. So if you're in that position, I feel you. But I also want to give you a reassurance that a pain-free period is possible. I've had pain-free periods and I know that you can too. Have I had completely pain-free periods all the way? Absolutely not. I've had periods where I've had to take period um, painkillers. But incorporating certain holistic and natural methods have helped me to make period pain more bearable. And those are the tips I'm going to share with you. So massive shout out to BU for sponsoring this video. BU is amazing. I literally bought BU period patches. I talked about it on Instagram. I reached out to the company. They reached back out to me and decided to sponsor this video. So I'm really excited that I can partner with a brand that is like 100% natural. They're just amazing. I love everything that they stand for and it's just a perfect fit. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. So before I share the tips that you can use to actually have better periods, the first thing I want to share with you is the no-nos, like things that you should completely start eliminating from your diet. And they are things that cause inflammation. And those things are coffee. Coffee constricts your blood vessels and causes inflammation and actually makes your cramps even worse. Another thing that causes inflammation in the body is sugar. Another thing is dairy. I'm trying on that dairy beets, but I love my cheese. Another thing is vegetable oil. These are things that actually make your body, you know, causes like an inflammation in your body and will make your period worse. Why does it, why is inflammation linked to period pain? I did a period course with a certified period coach called Monica Yates. And she actually shared why we get period pain in the first place. And I'm going to quote directly from her. She says, Period pain is caused by too many prostaglandins. As estrogen rises in the first half of your cycle, the lining of your uterus thickens and the thicker the uterine lining, the more blood there is to shed. In this uterine lining, there are things called prostaglandins. But when you have too many prostaglandins, which are inflammatory compounds, they cause period pain because they cause the vessels in your uterine lining to contract. So based on that explanation by Monica Yates, what you understand is that when estrogen rises in preparation for your period, you get something called inflammatory compounds called prostaglandins and these are in your uterine lining. These inflammatory compounds cause your uterine lining to contract and expand and that's actually what causes the pain. So if they're inflammatory compounds, you want to counteract that with anti-inflammatory foods, which is why my first go-to is to eat anti-inflammatory foods. And one of my favorite anti-inflammatory ingredients is turmeric. I love turmeric because it has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory qualities. Let me give you a quick hack. Anything that has color, any fruit, food, or whatever that has color, is highly anti-inflammatory as well and has antioxidant properties. So like I said, you want to use anti-inflammatory foods to counteract the inflammatory compound called prostaglandins. Are you still with me? If you're with me, leave me a comment below. Say, Tora, this is making sense. Just let me know below. So you want to use turmeric. Now, one of the ways that you can incorporate turmeric into your diet is to have Turmeric milk, it's called golden milk. It helps with so many things in the body, brain function, so many things. I love turmeric milk and you can start to incorporate this slowly into your diet. 
here's how to make it. So remember that I said that dairy is quite inflammatory, right? So you want to use a nut milk to make your turmeric milk. You want to use any nut milk that you have, like coconut milk or almond milk. Here I'm using some coconut milk. So coconut milk, mix that with some turmeric. You can eyeball it, whatever amount of turmeric works for you. Put some honey, sprinkle some cinnamon if you want. Mix it in a cup if you want. You can boil it over the hob or you can just put it in the microwave and you have your turmeric. You can take this every night before you go to bed or you know, whatever. But turmeric has like amazing properties. You can use it for your face, you can use it for anything. But in this case, you want to start introducing more turmeric into your diet because of the active compound in turmeric, which is curcumin. And you want to basically start incorporating that as part of the antioxidant properties. Now, you don't start working on your period right when your period is about to come. You start doing it way before. And don't do this one day and say, oh, Torah, it's not working. It's not going to work just like that. You have to start doing it and incorporating anti-inflammatory foods into your diet, which leads me to my next point. The second thing you want to do, which I love absolutely, is to use the BU patches. Now, I'm not here to say you absolutely have to use BU or because they sponsored this video to shove it in your face, but BU has been a lifesaver for me. First of all, a lot of people use hot water bottles. The inconvenience of having to lug your hot water bottle around, first of all, and second of all, you're not supposed to keep hot substances against your skin for more than 30 minutes. Check it, it's proven because it can damage your skin cells. So what the BU patches are is actually a mix of essential oils that have anti-inflammatory properties, mm -hmm, anti-inflammatory, and then it just stays in contact with your skin and releases the essential oils over the course of 12 hours, which is amazing. Some people do a DIY mix of essential oils, which they put in a balm and they put on their skin. But the problem with that is that it can rub against your clothes and doesn't really get the chance to act beneath your skin. So that's why these patches are so excellent. All you have to do is peel off the back stick it to wherever you want on your skin and you can leave it while you're working while you're playing while you're with friends it's almost like a hidden hot water bottle right there on your skin giving you relief it gives you a tingling feeling which is amazing and it makes period pain so much more manageable i'm all for natural methods and that's why bu period patches is a product i will stand behind i absolutely love this i purchased this with my own money first before i was ever sponsored by them and i want you to try it out check the description box below to check more about it and to shop the product as well Another thing you want to start incorporating in your diet is anti-inflammatory supplements. Now, not everyone can take supplements and you need to speak to your doctor about what, because I'm not, I'm not a doctor, <laughs> please. But you need to speak to your doctor about whether or not you can take supplements. But I genuinely think that every single person should be taking magnesium supplements. As much as you can get magnesium in your diet, you can't get enough magnesium because your body doesn't store magnesium. So you need to take supplements in order to get more magnesium in your diet. You can take foods that are high in magnesium. I mean, I like a good tamarind. I love to lick on sweet tamarind, which is quite high in magnesium. But you can take supplements to, you know, help get more magnesium. You can't even have too much magnesium because at the end of the day, all you're going to do is pee it out or it will make you poop. That's it. But definitely incorporate magnesium. Now, what is magnesium anyway? Magnesium is a muscle relaxant and it helps to fight inflammation in the body. You need magnesium for so many things in your body. So please start to incorporate magnesium in your diet. Other supplements that you can take are zinc, omega-3 fatty acids, but at the end of the day, zinc and omega-3 fatty acids, which you can get from fish and all of that, are things that you can actually get from your diet. So if you change your diet to things that contain these properties, you can actually start to incorporate those things in your diet. And I know you might be thinking, what has this got to do with period pain? Remember, prostaglandins, you need to 
fight that with anti-inflammatory foods. This is a slow lifestyle change and I really hope that it works for you. One thing I want to task you with right now, go on Google and Google anti-inflammatory foods, anti-inflammatory supplements, see what comes up. Look at those things in your diet and see how you can start to incorporate them and have them even closer to when you're getting your period. These are not wishy-washy ideas that I'm just throwing out of my butt. These are things that I do. These are things that I've researched. Like I said, I did a period course with Monica Yates and these are things that absolutely work. So take my advice. So let me give you one final recipe in my arsenal. This is something I do when I get a cold or a flu and I make it for people in my family as well. It's a Ghanaian recipe actually and it's with ginger and all of that. Why am I using all of this? Because it's anti-inflammatory. Yes, you're catching on now. So let's make this real quick. You want to combine ginger, cloves, selim, I don't know what they call it, um, this is a very local spice but you can skip it if you don't have it, chili and combine that in a blender, you want to strain it and then sweeten it up with honey. You can have this drink hot or cold, I like mine quite warm, sometimes I like it cold depending on how I'm feeling but it's a simple ginger drink that you can have at any time of the day, any time of the week but all these ingredients have anti-inflammatory compounds. How many times have I said anti-inflammatory in this video? But they have anti-inflammatory compounds that will basically help your body to start fighting inflammation. What is inflammation? Inflammation is your body's response to injury. So what I want you to do at the end of this video is do your research. Research your supplements. Research anti-inflammatory foods. Just do your research. Check everything out that I have said. Also research BU. You can check them out in the description box below. They are 100% natural, backed by science. And a huge thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Go back, don't forget, do your research. Come back and let me know what you find. A pain-free period is absolutely possible and it's possible for us it's possible for you till next time